So we have eight modalities. The first four, pretty common. Everyone's is on visual, on auditory. There's actually eight that I think are important. And as we go through these, I might ask that you just take some notes or circle or highlight things that maybe feel like they resonate for you so we can use those when we meet. Would that be OK? Mm -hmm. So the first one is about visual, seeing, focusing by seeing. I see the chart on the wall. I see the stuff on the floor. I see my calendar. I need to see things in order to remember them. Auditory, focus by listening. Have you ever asked, had somebody ask you to repeat those instructions? <laughs> They're focusing by hearing you. Kinesthetic, so me. Moving around, focus by moving, touching, doing. Tactile is sort of the cousin of kinesthetic. It's a feel. I do not like black pens. I just think I was a weirdo. I only like red pens or blue pens. I don't like pens that are too wet. It's about the feeling of the page. It's about the feeling of the pen. If I have a pen that I don't like, I'm going to be much less likely to sit down and start that project. It sounds silly, but again, all these little pieces go into getting us to be a little bit more efficient with our time. Next four. A little less well-known. Verbal process. <coughs> Too tough. Oral. We're focusing on language. Talking things through. Talking about what your priorities are. Talking about what we need to get done today. Written, focusing on language. Some people do nice, long, explicitive emails. And they're like, oh my goodness, it's a seven page email. But it's how they process by putting it down for a and written for a Emotional, relationship based, criteria of feelings and connections. I have a client, family does very well, kids are in after school. You're late for after school, you end up paying extra money. Mm -hmm new motivation. She was late every single day. One day the security guard pulled her aside and said to her, you know, I have to stay until all the kids are gone. And when you don't come until 4.15, I don't make my 4.30 train, which means I miss my bus, which means I don't get to have dinner with my kids. She was on time about 60% of the time. Not perfect, uh. but better. Because for her, it was about the person and not making that person miss dinner time with their family. She couldn't care less about the money. Cognitive, proven strategy, anchored in science. I need the facts and figures. There's no way you're going to get me to move forward with that project unless I have facts and figures and I know I've got science behind it. Intuitive, inner voice, knows without proof, that gut feeling. So I hope everybody sort of circled or just made a little note about where they might feel like some of their strengths fall. Now I want to talk a little bit about how some strategies can support you if you have that particular strength. If you're visual, you like color or clear containers so you can see through it. You like to do things like a mind map was my mind map getting ready when I couldn't get myself started. It's not pretty, but it worked for me. Got me going. Pom-pom theory. Tying something to the end of your keys or something you need to remember. Something that's sort of shiny and that will make you actually see it. Leaving projects out on your floor so you can see what you need to do. Or the filing behind you. Creating beautiful surroundings, not being able to start your day until the kitchen is clean and the desk is organized. 